Hello, welcome to C Sharp version 6 features part 2 using static brought to you by Anchor Technologies. My name is Arish. In this session, we are going to learn one of the most developer friendly feature that is using static. And right now, we'll understand it. Using static, this concept or this feature allows to use any class that is static as a name page. In the sense, now if you want to uh, add a static class as a namespace and that can be done using this wonderful feature that is using static and to understand it very clearly we'll start coding in Visual Studio and before that let us see in this slide you can find a difference between uh, two pointers there are two pointers telling you like in C sharp 5.0 and C sharp 6.0 here what we are trying to tell us what was present in C sharp version 5 and what's been new added to C sharp version 6 and you can observe few sentences telling you we need to call many methods from convert dot to in 32 or console dot write or console dot write line so we need to write the class name first then the method name every time for example you can observe here in the C sharp version 5 if you want to call the write method or write line method every time what we have to do is we have to call the respective class first that is console then we have to call the method present in it but coming to c sharp 5 it's been avoided it's not that compulsory you have to call the console class first and then the write method next now you can call the write method directly it, in the sense what you are doing is you are adding this console class as a namespace such that the console class uh, is allowing us to call the right method directly in our code. That is what the specialty in C Sharp version 6 and these few four sentences explain you that. Like Microsoft announced a new behavior to our C Sharp compiler that allows me to call all the static methods from the static class without the name of the classes because now we need to first use our static class in starting with all the namespaces in the sense and this slides or this images explains you clearly. You can observe here in C Sharp 5.0 if you want to add a static class is namespace which is which is not possible here you can observe here using system when I press dot you can observe only the namespace present in the C sharp version 5 but coming to the next image you can observe when I use using system using static dot system dot you can observe here with the namespaces you can also find the console classes console class and the convert class which is now being added as namespace that's what that's what the special feature using static does. It allows us to add namespace, static classes as a namespace in the program. Now, without wasting much time, let us observe the code also. You can observe here a piece of code which tells you like it, it's taking the values, first value and the second value, uh, first value and the second value. Then the, what it is doing, it is adding the things and it's providing the output. A simple addition we are doing here. But the thing you have to observe here is like if you want to print something to the console then we'll use console.write line then we'll pass the message similarly you can you can observe here like console.write line will pass the text and to convert like if you want to read something from the console then we have a console.read line but you can observe here every time what we are doing here is every time we are calling the console class to do that work like to call the respective method present in it like console.write line console.read line console.write line and you can also observe use convert.2 in 32 to convert the string format of the read line into integer format you can observe here convert.2 in 32 convert.2 in 32 in the sense what we are doing is every time we are calling the static class first and respective methods present in it but uh, to make the developer life easy what C sharp 6.0 came up with us like instead of uh, calling the console class or a convert class every time let me add that static classes as a namespace such that I can call the respective methods present in console and convert directly in the program that's what they've done here you can observe here like using static as a feature which is allowing us to add console class as a namespace similarly using static system dot convert convert is a class which allows to convert the string format into integer format and now that's been added as a namespace and that's what you have to observe here in C sharp 5 so this um, using does not allow us to add a console class as a namespace but coming to C sharp version 6 using static feature allows us to add the static classes as a namespace and which you can see here in this piece of code and without wasting much time what we'll do is we'll code in Visual Studio also right now what I'll do is I'll just remove all this piece of code and I'll remove this also let me add a namespace like using using system and this was the way how do we code in Visual Studio in the C sharp version 5 and let me do a simple addition like uh, let me print a message ask the user to enter value 1 
okay fine and let me take the input from the user itself value 1 is equal to uh, like okay I want to read it from the since user is entering the value I have to read it from the console screen so console dot is the read line is the method which reads the input whatever passed by the user but this read line returns the string format but our variable is of integer type so I have to convert the string into integer so how do I convert I have a method called convert dot to int 32 which convert the string format into integer format now I'm done with this similarly what I'll do I'll just copy these two lines and paste let me take the other values like uh, enter value 2 this is value 2 and this is value 1 sorry okay now in this piece of code what I'm taking is I'm asking the user to enter value 1 and value 2 and once he enters the values will be stored in value 1 and value 2 variable now it next my next job is I want to add them I'll add it in a variable called sum value 1 plus value 2 done now I, my objective is to print the output on the console so I'll print sum now when I run this program obviously it la it asked me to enter the values and it's very simple you can observe here the build succeeded and started okay it's been started the builder started and once it is done we'll enter the values and we'll see the output let's wait for that my system is a bit slow yes the build has succeeded and yes it is asking me to enter the value 1 I'll enter 10 and value 2 10 and the sum of 2 is 10 and 10 is 20 okay this works fine but our objective is to learn a special feature called using static here what does it do it allow us to add the static classes as a namespace for example you can observe here the console convert are the classes static classes uh, which allow us to use the methods present in it for example write line to print the message on the console and 2 in 32 to convert the integer string format into integer format but every time when we call them we used to call with the class name first but now C sharp version 6 it came up with a feature called using static which allow us to add this console class and convert class as a namespace so that I can directly call the methods present in it so without wasting much time we'll use that feature like static let me add a static static see you can observe here when I do that uh, I'll when I press dot you can observe I'm having a console class okay and so now it's not necessary to call the console class every time like this so let me remove that console dot read line yes I'm done with this and we are here also we can remove it it's very simple now we are getting a right quickly like convert okay now what's what's our job we have to add this convert class as a namespace how do I do that it's very simple we call the using static feature using static system dot convert okay now it's my job to remove this convert yes I'm done with this now now what did I do I just removed the classes static classes and made them as a namespace such that my code repetition waves in a sense every time I have to call a class first then the method that's been avoided in the C sharp version 6 with the help of this using static feature right now when I run this program it has to provide the obvious the same output what it has provided in the C sharp version 5 10 10 yes uh, the op output is as expected and that's what that's what we uh, need every time and that's what the specialty of this feature and coming back and in this session we learned like uh, what is C sharp what was present in C sharp version 5 and what's been added to C sharp version 6 and that's all for the day and you can like our uh, YouTube channel and pro training where you can learn C sharp videos C sharp programming language there and you can also find some C sharp version 6 features and we are also on Facebook you can like us like like us on www.facebook.com slash anchor training and we are on Twitter and we have websites for further information regarding this videos or whatever it is regarding you can contact the sites like anchor.com and anchor training.com and we are on LinkedIn too and thank you for listening have a great day please subscribe to anchor training below and don't forget to give the feedback. Thank you.